Hey viewers, welcome to another game of Sketch for Pro Gamer. Today we are doing a Shaco game, and Shaco is going to jungle for us. So he's up against jungle uh, Scion. <laughs> wow, I wasn't even looking at the screen anymore, I couldn't remember the name. Excellent! Um, so let's. Oh, no. Ah, uh, no spectator mode on. That is uh, very unfortunate. So starting off at red here. By the way, this is a ranked game. I'm not sure what ELO. I'm sure that whoever's game this is will put that in the bottom here. Well, on the comments. And Shiko is starting off at the red, as I said. Um, yeah, he can start off at both. It depends on uh, on your tactics. Red kind of gives you the uh, the ability to go into uh, the lanes really early on so like a level 2 gank and yeah the blue gives you the ability to jungle a lot faster and a lot more so it all depends on what you're planning to do and what your lanes are so yeah he is going to uh, in this case just go for the early gank I'm assuming otherwise there's no real reason to get red because if you don't do that then the red will uh, will have worn off by the time you want to gank and it, I think he placed way too many boxes here uh, I think the first ones will have timed out but I'm not actually sure they do last for a minute I think um, oh hang on this is no this is the jack in the box uh, 60 seconds, yep. So, yeah, the uh, Jack in the Box and the Sieve, and he is going to go nowhere. Okay, he's going to go for blue. Okay, whatever. So, yeah, you can see that he's uh, completely low on health. Uh, on ma mana, sorry. And that's exactly why you normally see them uh, going for uh, blue first and then red second. But he's going to pick this off and... Uh, huh? Hang on. He came into gank and she just killed him. Okay, that's good. Uh, <laughs> man! <laughs> so, jungle scion probably not the best uh, that's why we never see that but it can be uh, powerful in the later game so Shaco level 3 now has one in each uh, of the things no box going down though or no well not soon enough but they are going to pick up the skill and is he going to survive no he will not survive and yeah should have backed off a little bit earlier, but I guess then they wouldn't have gotten the kill. But placing that box a little bit further out, like over here, and then running back, or then coming back for the kill, that would be the the way to go, because you need to land that fear. Now the fear went down on all of the minions, and yeah, he's picking up all of the minions here. Um, yeah, making sure that... <laughs> This uh, Udir cannot farm at all anymore. So yeah, not the best to have, of course, uh, still pushing this lane. And yeah, now Timo has all of this range in which to play with Udir. It's going to be really hard for Udir to get anything done. And yeah, getting level 5 here. So already up to level 5, where Timo is level 3, and that means he can try again. And is he going to place the box in a good spot this time? Yes, there we go. And not getting the box off. Oh, he does get the box off, I just didn't see it. It was somewhere in here. And they do get another kill. Udir this time surviving at low HP and is this guy going to die now or is he going to get a double kill no 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 he's chasing the wrong guy and the box the box the box come on yeah the box only a very short amount of um, 
Uh, the the come on. What's it called? Fear. Yeah, it's only 0 0.5 seconds. So that was not enough to save the Udir, but they get a uh, two for one. And Shaco can now go for the dragon. If um, if he can pick up some nice items, he can solo the dragon at level six. And yeah, he does have the Riggles Lantern, making him able to get that. And I surely hope he gets that. He just got a refresh on his uh, red buff because well. The jungler came in and he killed him. But yeah, definitely putting the top lane a little bit ahead now. Because Udir is now uh, at 3 assists. Well, only has 4 minions. But against the 12 minions and 1 kill, I guess he is a little bit ahead in gold. Cannot really see that, of course. But in general, that would be the case. Oh, come on. Yes, and he gets the final hit off there. Uh, Galio, yeah, he is uh, good against uh, uh, AP casters, but he's not that good that he can just stand there and take all that damage without dying. So yeah, the jungler coming in here and Sion taking a little bit of damage. He went for a very risky early build with the Vampire Scepter, but yeah, he paid the price for that by dying to any. Because, yeah, if you're committed to a situation then, there's no way to get out. And, oh, the raid's coming up. And I wonder if Sion is going to try to protect them, because he saw the Shaco running there. But he's not going to protect them. Oh, he's going to try to get them. And that definitely... Oh, that was a horrible ultimate! Oh, he popped out of the bushes! Oh, that was so unfortunate. I don't think that, uh, or I don't know how that should have gone, but or if that could have been done any different. But I would definitely have deceived into uh, deceived behind the scion, then altered, and then gotten the uh, the damage immediately on him, because that way he wouldn't have seen it. Well, he could still see the thing in the bush. The the rampage. Wow. Getting away at low health, very nicely done. No mushroom from Timo. Timo should of course have put a mushroom either here or exactly in that fight, but yeah, no mushroom coming out. It, there may have been a mushroom in the fight though. I can't really see. Yep, 8 minutes, 401, and uh, yeah, it would be really good if he went for Dragon. Because Dragon is worth way more than those kills. But yeah, as I said in the previous Shaco game, uh, Shaco is a really hard champion to play perfectly. Uh, but you don't have to play him perfectly to, uh, well, to get him uh, in, well, to get good scores with him. But yeah, he is really difficult to play perfectly because it's all split-second timing, and uh, yeah, it's how Reginald got so high up in the in the rankings. Reginald used to be a master at Shaco, and he really, yeah, he was unbeatable with that. Oh, a nice, nice arrow there, a uh, nice hawk shot, revealing that Shaco is indeed in this lane, and <laughs> I have no idea what he was doing there. Oh, can he get out? No deceive. Oh, now the deceive is up, and they should be able to pick up at least one kill here. Nope, nothing happening. That is um, unfortunate to say the least. I was assuming they would be able to pick up something. So they have no ranged AD. That's um, yeah, that's definitely not good. And they have no support either. <laughs> Nicely done. So they pick up another kill. Shaker gets another assist. And time to go counter jungle. Oh, they're going for the turret right away. Oh, Galio and uh, Scion both here. 
And is he going to deceive out? Oh, he's not going out. He's he, he's saying, "Screw you! I'm killing you." So, <laughs> oh wow, yeah, now going to counter jungle, and he has smite up, so he can take this blue buff pretty easily. But yeah, still no dragon has been taken, even though dragon, yeah, that was up from like four minutes onwards. So no, the ability to take dragon was up from a really early uh, thing, a really early time. And um, yeah, Shaco deciding he ha he's had enough. He stole the blue buff, so he's getting out of there. And are they going? They're going for dragon, but that's not a really wise choice because they have no vision on the enemies. And they have no jungler with them, and the jungler has no smite. So, in general, not the best of ideas. And um, yeah, I don't know why they would put down <laughs> a, a green ward over here. That does nothing. But I guess someone had them. Yeah. Malphite had them lying around, so he thought, well, why not use them? I haven't used them all game, so might as well put them down now. Um, yeah, Shaker's going top lane. He has double buff. And Teemo, yeah, he's getting out of there, man. He's saying, uh, screw you, I'm super Teemo. I'm going to fly away. Uh, yeah, Teemo not going to be able to survive this at all. Not even a little. And no deceive use there. He could have gotten out of there. But yeah, with the buffs on him, it's pretty easy to to pick out the r the correct one. And yep, seven and one, finally ending that uh, killing spree. Oh, he was trying to just nuke down the Scion. Yeah, that wasn't going to work anytime soon. But, yeah, you shouldn't do that if you have a full health ally in the lane. Because your full health ally can take the damage for a little bit while you get out. And then you can uh, place another uh, box and you can throw another knife. and it, Well, put in some damage that way. But just tanking the full-on damage from Scion, that is never a good thing. From any champion, really. Shaco is kind of an assassin character, and yeah, obviously that is um, that is how you should play him. So the new uh, patch, I just watched the patch preview. The new patch is going to take some of the uh, tankiness away that uh, yeah that some of these carries have. But I think they should do that way more. They should do that with way more champions. So they get a kill here. And Shaco in the meantime is just going for his blue buff. I'm going to go for his jungle now. And... Oh, for mid lane apparently. So in the meantime, bottom lane is just getting pushed by three champions. The bear finally timing out and Annie getting stunned, but f other than that, they're not going to do a whole lot. This turret is going to go down. And there we go. Are we going to see some follow up on that Malphite ultimate? Because, yeah, there we go. Excellently done. So they get a kill after the turrets, and Shaco is over here. Trying to get the kill once again on this Teemo. Teemo who has no clue how to protect his lane apparently against Shaco. Well, protecting against Shaco is not that hard. He is not that invisible. So he can just um, do, do a very small amount of, uh, of stealth. And Teemo really making the mistake of not warding against that. And yeah, that's never a good idea. Of course, you want to you want to ward against that. You want to put a ward like over here uh, to make sure that he, when he runs into the bush, you can see him. Because from that moment on, you won't be able to see him because he's going to go stealth in the bush and going to gank you in the lane. So Shaco currently at uh, five one three two, 
that should give you enough information on how the skill progressing uh, progresses uh, and hallucinate is now at level 2 because he just reached level 11 and he is probably the highest level in the game which is pretty amazing but yeah then again he took a lot of farm in the top lane in the well early on and yeah even after that oh ward going down and yeah he sees all of them coming flash done but no follow up or no real follow up and they're not going to get this done Galio is going to ult um, is this going to yeah this is going to result in anything in something uh, yeah jungler coming in oh no that's not the jungler oh come on get the Teemo and then yeah just leave them leave them okay they're still going in it's three versus four this is not a smart engage but yeah Galio is low so I guess he could be taken uh, but yeah it is still three versus four and they are going to lose one of their champions and although Shaco can do damage for two so he can be counted as two when he has his ultimate up other people have ultimates too so yeah they're going to negate that damage or no counteract that damage from um, from Shaco with their own ultimates and yeah that didn't really work out for them so it's um yeah it is kind of empty in the jungle at the moment there is no dragon there should be a baron coming up well not for now I mean he's not going to be able to solo dragon here a uh, baron here he uh, yeah he's just going to be in lane here for a little bit and going to try to help out and are they going to get anything done here it is a three versus three situation and they are ahead so yep Ash goes down and now the Scion is going to go down and bye bye so that was a four for zero and Dragon will be up yep Dragon just came up so 22 to 9 and this is exactly what happens with Shaco in low level games Shaco just completely stomps everyone and obviously it's not so hard to deal with fortunately Shaco well can do quite a lot of damage in the mid game still in the end game not so much he's not a real real carry he's more of a uh, provider for other people so he uh, provides other people the opportunities to uh, to do something in the late game and can be played in the early game in the same manner meaning that he can actually uh, get a lot of things done uh, by just assisting and uh, assisting allies uh, in killing enemies and therefore getting a lot of assists but mostly uh, Shaco is played as kind of an assassin oh yeah both of them have a blue buff now which is excellent and are they going to go for Baron? No they can't go for Baron they need at least Udyr and Jarvan there but yeah the bottom lane is getting owned here <laughs> by was that four enemy champions? Yeah so it would have been a good time to do the Baron but yeah <laughs> They decide not to. And there's uh, someone in the bush here. So it's a four versus one against uh, Jarvan here. But Jarvan is saying, screw you guys, I'm going to jump in anyway. And yeah, you see how that goes. That is an excellent way to get yourself killed. And is Udir going to live? Because Udir gets no backup here but yeah he's going to chase away this uh, this Galio apparently and he needs to back off but yeah it's all it's all good triple kill for our Shaco here 12 1 and 5 having an excellent game so far 
and yeah, I thought he might be in some trouble because the screen flashed red, but it's all good. So we can see that he has a hundred minions, the only one close to him is on the enemy team, and that is Galio. Well, not close to him, he has the same amount. But for the rest, yeah, there is 80, 80, 80, yeah, so the mid lane and uh, top laners and even bottom laners not getting as much done and yeah this is how you handle Shaco as Teemo as I said it's not that hard and Teemo should, ha should have been able to handle that he probably was relying on his mushrooms to do uh, this, uh, the scouting for him and that does not work. So yeah, AP Timo is really squishy, especially if you build him like this. If you go for uh, Melody into Death Cap or something like that. Because that is just a retarded build. Obviously if you go for the Rylas Crystal Scepter and uh, uh, Rod of Ages, you will do a lot better. And is Malphite going to get out? Yes, he is. Jarvan, on the other hand, is not going to get out. So, Shaco is up top, saving this tower. And the rest of the team is just engaging some fights in mid. Not a whole lot of... Yeah, fight potential there. They're not going to be able to turret dive, because that would be stupid. And by the way, if you're wondering, I'm not sick, I just have hay fever. And because it's springtime again, yeah, I will be uh, sniffling quite a lot. And I hope you really don't mind. And otherwise, go watch some things from the winter time where I didn't have this problem. <laughs> so Shaco jumping over the wall and getting a very easy kill there on, uh, on Ash. Yeah, enemy team just standing around in mid, and it is time to just kill them again. Yeah, it's currently four versus uh, five, I think. No, four versus four, it's not too bad. But yeah, that ultimate really nuking him down, well, with the help of AP Teemo, of course. Because AP Teemo does a lot, and <laughs> the clone still chasing the enemies. Annie gets uh, gets stunned, and Annie is going to die here. But is she going to take someone with her? Yes, they are going to at least be able to do something. Annie finally dies, but they are going to pick two, uh, pick up two extra kills. So all in all, it was a four for two trade. Yeah, four for two because Ash died as well. That's what started off this fight. I forgot that Ash was dead there. So it was a 4 vs 4 fight all the way through. And by the way, once again, he used his ultimate in this bush. Uh, so the enemies could see both of them coming before they were actually in the fight. You need to use your, your ultimate to dodge some damage or something like that. Because it's the only skill that can help you dodge like turret shots or uh, skill shots. or No, skill shots can be... Uh, dodge with a lot of in a lot of ways, but I meant targeted shots. So like the uh, poison dart, no, the blinding dart from um, from Timo. You can actually, or one of the auto attacks, you can actually dodge those with uh, well with your ultimate. And are they oh they going for an early Baron here? Twenty three and a half minutes in. And the clone is going to snuff it, obviously. But they do have smite up, so they shouldn't be too worried about this uh, this ward. And about the enemy coming in. The enemy is going to come in, though. Or the enemies are going to come in. And, yeah, just back out. Oh, they are going to grab the Baron here. That was really risky. Although he is, I guess, a few levels higher than uh, the enemy jungler. So his smite does a little more damage. But that was a really dangerous thing to do. So they pick up three kills here. Oh, two kills, sorry. The third guy apparently got out. I thought I saw another low guy. 
yeah. Well, they pick up two kills and the Baron. But that was a really risky fight, and I wouldn't recommend you to do the, you doing that. Um, yeah, Ash dies, so now it's three, and there we go, surrender, and really nicely played. Uh, some mistakes on the ultimate, as I said, but for the rest, pretty decent game. Very lucky early game uh, because of all the kills, <laughs> but. Yeah, if the enemy would have played this out, they probably still had a chance because, as I said, Shaco can't carry a team. In the late game, one of your uh, allies needs to be well, reasonably fed and needs to have some reasonable skills to actually pull this off, uh, to pull off the, uh, the actual win, so the Nexus kill, because Shaco in the end game can be sniped pretty easily and that's why he can't really carry. But um, yeah, as I said, well played. I hope you enjoyed. I will see you next time. GG.